Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, guys. Love the show. Frequent listener and frequent caller. Couple quick questions. If we are changing to a pass oriented offense, how is that going to affect the line that was brought in and trained to be a run blocking line? Is Ethan Posick a good uh, pass blocker? And second part, whatever happened to Will Fuller? I seem to have lost track of him. Thank you guys for listening. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, Will Fuller remained unsigned. Understanding is he still wants to play, has not retired. Um, it's an interesting uh, question, though. Yes, they're going to have to learn to pass block. Bill Callahan's there, so that shouldn't be that big of a problem. And their run blocking will be different. They're not going to do the same wide scheme because Sean Watson's better out of a shotgun. Yeah, probably more shotgun runs, more pistol runs in certain situations, maybe more RPOs or read options, all those sorts of different things. And, I mean, that's going to be the adjustment that I think Kevin Stefanski and Bill Callahan are going to need to make, you know, you know, in, in these next few months leading up to minicamp because we also have to remember that the Sean Watson trade happened in March. So I'm sure they were preparing for one type of offense, you know, in you know the time before they were able to acquire Watson and then you know knowing he's not going to play a whole season you have to kind of try and create two separate schemes one without Deshaun Watson and one with Deshaun Watson and we saw you know just how how much of a tough time you know it seemed like the entire offense had moving from the Brissett scheme to the Watson scheme and you know the problems that kind of created but now you have Deshaun Watson who's unquestionably your guy you know right now looking to play all 17 games of the season that means you have time to kind of you know prepare everything you know restructure how you train your your offensive linemen in mini camp you know otas training camp kind of get them ready to, to work on more of a pass blocking type of setup you know where they're going to have to pass protect more than they have in the past couple of seasons where they're going to have to learn how to be better you know blocking in shotgun situations maybe when there's no tight end on the field so there, that's going to be, you know, a few months process, but they've already kind of gotten a head start because they've seen Deshaun Watson for six games. They have a better idea of what he likes, you know, as far as, you know, what kind of plays he likes to run, what kind of the scheme is supposed to look like, and also what they need out of their offensive linemen. So it, it all goes to, you know, building the best offense I think the Browns can or th that they think they can build to make Deshaun Watson as successful as possible because the better Deshaun Watson looks, the better the team is going to look. It's an old, it's obvious, it's pretty obvious, but it's it's true that, you know, your team in, in the NFL goes as far as your quarterback goes. Yeah, if you're paying a guy, you, you saw the cap hit last segment, cap hit's $54 million, you better figure out how to make him look good.